Wanted to give a quick demo of the cross compatibility of the encryption that some of the radios we have on our website have. So in this case, I've got a Maxon MDP7 and a Hytera HP682. They're both on the same channel. I've got the Hytera with the encryption turned on. You can see the encryption key there, um, the icon on the radio screen. And when I go to key up in this case, since the Maxon doesn't have encryption turned on, test, 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 test. Uh, my audio coming through is completely encrypted. Um, that's because these radios are both using the DMRA implementation of AES-256 encryption. So now when I go take my HP7, turn the encryption on, and go to key up back on my Hytera. Test, test. Test, test. Test, test. test, test. You can see that my audio is coming through. A lot of radios will advertise that they have AES-256 encryption, um, but the standard that that encryption is implemented with, in this case DMRA, uh, dictates whether or not the radios will be compatible with other manufacturers. The DMRA encryption standards, one of the most common used, um, it's the same that Hytera, Motorola are all using. And with our Maxons, in this case the MDP-6 and MDP-7, we ship all of these radios from Rangeland with the AES-256 encryption upgrade standard on the radio. Um, so it's a really great radio to get into AES-256 encrypted comms. If you're interested in taking a look at any of the other encrypted radios we have, you can check out our site.